in this video I will show four more Pokemon that would be fun to eat. You will see how they can be killed and mutilated for eating. Let's take Pikachu's tail. Its tail consists of a rigid bone shaped like a lightning bolt. <coughs> the tail is probably covered with a thin layer of meat so you can cut it off and fry it. It could be like eating buffalo wings. Next we have Klefki. They steal keys and then fiercely, fiercely jiggle them at enemies to scare them away. This could only make sense if this creature evolved after humans already invented keys. Because what the hell did it do before keys were invented? I was thinking that maybe this key ring part can be cut off and eaten. Then what will Klefki do? <coughs> A Pokemon that's a fucking key ring. Come on. Now let's take Dog Trio. It says they are triplets that have emerged from the same body and think exactly alike. Does that mean they are attached together or is it just a single diglet that split into three and they just stay together? I don't know. So let's say I use a scythe to chop away two of the bodies. Does the third body become a single diglet again? What if I chop away only one of the bodies to eat it? <coughs> I think Haunter is supposed to be entirely gaseous so the, the, the idea that I can eat him might be very wrong. But anyway, he has a pair of hands that are detached from its body but float next to it. Either they're really detached or the arms, the arms are invisible. Either way, I wonder why a real-life animal hasn't evolved to have unattached hands floating next to it and somehow that would work biologically. I just wonder what would happen if one of Haunter's hands was removed and eaten. <coughs> or maybe both of the hands were were removed and eaten. I mean, these creatures are called monsters, not animals, for a reason. So maybe treating them as animals biologically, in my mind, is incorrect. I might make a third video about this. There, there are plenty of other interesting Pokemon that could be mutilated in funny ways and eaten.